Lives of Our Saints. On the 28th of November, our church celebrates the feast day of Saint Stephen the Younger. The following are some details of his life and works. Born in 713, Stephen was only but 13 years old when a campaign of persecution was renewed after many years at the command of Emperor Leo. This happened not as pagan against pagan, but because of an issue which set Christian against Christian. Emperor Leo had sympathised with those who called for the elimination of the icons as a form of idolatry, arousing the monarch to the point where the order was issued that the icons be stripped from churches. Those who insisted on retaining the likeness of saints to be revered, not idolised, as the heroes that preserved Christianity, were subject to severe reprisal and punishment. The smouldering issue erupted into flames, with Leo's official pronouncement in 716. This was the year in which Stephen was admitted to the monastery of, of Oxentios to begin his formal training as a monk under the guidance of Abbot John, who had ignored the royal edict and whose monastery and chapel abounded in the sacred icons. Three years later, at the age of 16, Stephen had the necessary qualifications, but he only intensified his study and meditation for another three years. At this time, he was more than qualified to become a monk, but was content to be so tonsured and to remain in the confines of his cloister. He succeeded John as abbot when he was only 33 years old, elevated over men with many more years of service, but with none of the rare qualities which had made the young monk the obvious choice. With the ascension to the throne of Constantine V in 741, hostilities intensified within the church because of yet another royal edict issued by a man who ruled by accident of birth, but whose theological ignorance was far from accidental. Swayed by the iconoclasts, the new emperor allowed the iconoclasts a free hand, a hand that ripped the venerated icons from church after church, and then turned its blasphemous paws in the direction of the monasteries. Under Abbot Stephen, the monastery of Oxentios had acquired a far-flung reputation for spiritual leadership and adherence to the canons of the church, which included the display of icons. The military was pressed into service to support the iconoclasts and help them overcome the resistance of Orthodox Christians, who were appalled at the sight of a church in barrenness of icons. The monastery of Abbot Stephen was singled out to serve as an example for others to follow. Chosen to head the ranks of the soldiers ordered to the monastery was a man by the name of Galistos, who had known the youthful Stephen in Constantinople. When Stephen refused admittance to anyone representing imperial authority, Galistos turned to the emperor, who in turn ordered Stephen to be exiled. He returned two years later, only to be killed by an unruly mob of iconoclasts. He died for Christ on the 28th of November, 776.